thing just exploded. Dad was standing right beside it. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and you are watching Triple R Farms and it is Tuesday, August the 29th. And that right there is what we call a mud puddle. Yes, we finally got some rain. Didn't rain everywhere, but uh, where it did, we got a bunch of rain. Uh, right here at our shop and in the valley and all, got about two inches of rain. And where we were cutting at Gray Rocks, got a two inch rain if not more it was a big rain it just kept raining and raining and just like would not stop uh so that has shut us down on corn harvest we did get a couple of loads cut i think i got three truck loads cut that morning and then the bottom fell out so what i'm saying is i do not think we're going to be harvesting corn today uh number one the ground is extremely wet and number two we got a really good chance of uh, rain after lunch. What we got on tap for today, we're gonna be working around the shop this morning. Uh, I know we got a diesel tank that uh, Will Barron has gone out on. James and Dad will probably be working on that. Uh, Wayne's gonna be cleaning up the shop and then he's gonna be loading out seed trucks. Um, Mark, he's gonna be taking back some chemical and stuff. We're gonna be kind of cleaning up that area and taking what we didn't use back and getting credit. Um, I've still got an issue on my truck. It's making this weird, loud noise like where the drive shaft is. So we're probably gonna get under there and take a look at that at uh, some point today. So, so that's all I got right now. So y'all sit back and enjoy the video and uh, let's get it started. just have to do if you keep looking at all this old stuff around here you'll find cracks everywhere so got it welded up ready to roll it out of here and then we'll start looking at my truck see if we can figure out what's going on with that noise the real fun is gonna be watching dad back this thing out of here takes talent right here now because you got an axle that turns You're doing better than I thought. <laughs> so I had to go grab the floor jack. It was at dad's house. Now we are pulling up at the shop. 
um what i got going on with my truck is i've had i have some kind of noise and it sounds like it's like back toward the back of my truck um sounds like it should be like the drive shaft um or like a universal joint but it's just a light kind of vibrating and um it only does it when i accelerate and it's been doing it for a long time and it's gotten worse and worse so now it's basically doing it just about every time i accelerate so um i've had a lot of people commented when i did a video when we got on there look uh the last time they said it may be the heat shield and stuff vibrate and anyway i had all kind of comments but we have still not figured it out so we're going to do attempt number two and uh, we're going to jack up the back and uh maybe turn the wheels by hand look at the universal joints look at that drive shaft just look it over What are you getting? I'm looking for my light. Have you already gotten it? Uh-uh. Look at that one. Uh -huh. A long grass here. <clears throat> Back and forth now. Uh-uh. Am I supposed to have this much play? Yeah. I'm turning the tire and the drive shaft's not moving. They're going to have some slack, yes. Huh? Yeah, they're going to have some. Put it in drive? Yeah. And just hold the brake? No, just let it turn. Okay. He's off the ground. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You're filthy. I'm filthy good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dirty. Your joints look good. The dry shelf you can't shake it up and down. Uh, we're heading over here to the hay barn. Dad wants to pull out his uh, McDonald draper head because uh, the beans are looking so ready. He's getting kind of antsy. So we're going to pull it out, start washing it up, and then we'll start going through it. I guess we'll take a look at the grain sorghum since we're right here. So this is the very first year to ever grow grain sorghum. So basically what I'm saying is I don't know if I'm looking at a good crop or if I'm looking at a bad crop, but the main thing I'm looking right now is trying not to step on a rattlesnake. And how am I gonna keep that from blowing out the back of my combine? I don't know, so y'all tell me. Leave me a comment if you, uh, if you grow grain sorghum. Does that look like a good crop or a bad crop? What I'm doing is feeling how wet the corn is. And um, but dad walked out in here. We were feeling how dry it, dry it feels. Got a little damp right in here on, on the husk, but um, feels pretty daggum dry. So since this corn's looking so dry, Tell you what we might be doing we might be getting an early lunch 
and uh, heading to Gray Rocks because it rained two inches over here. It did the same exact amount at Gray Rock, so the corn should be very similar uh, to what it is over here as far as being dry. And uh, yeah, we might be cutting some corn later on today if it's not raining. Yeah, I can't believe it, but we are cutting corn. Uh, moisture, as you just saw, was anywhere from like 16.5 to 18 is kind of where it's been hanging around. So corn's not a problem, but the ground is very soft and um, still muddy. And the reason it's still so soft is um, we paratilled this land this year, so we deep tillage, so it's gonna be soft anyway, but um, not making a rut too bad um, if it was any if it was any wetter I don't think I would be able to run because of the ground conditions but we are just dry enough where we're gonna be able to run uh, the rest of the day we got the suns out which is helping it's supposed to get some rain later on this afternoon but I haven't seen anything yet that looks like rain so we ought to be good hopefully for uh, the rest of the afternoon so we're gonna get back to cut corn see y'all tomorrow washer's got a bad leak in the handle and uh, I thought dad had it fixed but no. Uh oh. Do I need those blocks so you can roll up on them? It's off the rim. Uh-huh. Yeah we need to back it up on the block. Uh -oh. You know you got it going in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going up. Good night. Woo! Holy. Oh. <laughs> I blew right where I'm standing here. Alright, I don't need any more weight on here. Thing just exploded. Dad was standing right beside it. Uh. Can you hear? Did I hear it? Can you hear? I can hear you. Yeah. I would still be shaking. Dad, is that like it didn't even phase him? Philip heard it in his I'm tractor. I'm on that tractor. I'm unloading. I'm sitting there going, oh gosh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I'd get something or the <laughs> shaft rung off. That was exciting. <laughs> so here's how it went down. I had, the, uh, I had the air going in the tire and then all of a sudden the motor the air compressor cut off and I knew it was probably out of gas. So I walked into the service trailer. I was in there with my back turned to the trailer uh, looking for the gas jug to fill up the air compressor. Dad had crawled out from up under the truck and he was standing right over the, on the other side by the tire where you put air in it. That's where he was standing when it blew and it was that tire right there. And when I heard it, I had my back turned, like I said, and I thought the world was ending. It was so loud. I didn't know what had just happened. And uh, Philip was all the way about where he is now in the grain cart filling up uh, Friday. 
and uh, he heard it in the tractor. He thought he hit something that was so loud, or he did something wrong is what he thought. So he heard it all the way down there in the cab, and Dad was right there. All right, now we can head to the field, but remember when I was telling y'all when the tire exploded, Philip was loading Friday? Well, this is about where he was, and that's probably when the tire exploded. <laughs> Okay, so we finally made it out of the irrigated field. It's right on the other side of those trees. Uh, from here on out, will be nothing but dry land corn down here at Gray Rocks. We're in field number two, which as you can see, is kind of small. Got another little section over there. Um, but doing pretty good. This is some BH Genetics corn. Um, yielding, yielding good. This is uh, BH Genetics. This is 8820. Yeah, I'm filling up quick. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. See that quail and our little baby right there? See him? Little bitty thing. Keep going. There goes the mom, there goes the baby. Tried to get a rabbit, but he missed it. There's a baby rabbit right here, y'all, and I'm trying to protect him from this hawk. Where'd he go? There he is. See him right there? Trying to get him to those woods. Come on, little guy. There he goes. You better go on in there. There is a gigantic hawk. He was swooping down. He tried to get him. Missed him. And then there was another rabbit right over there. He tried to get it. Missed it. And he's in that tree. So last night, we did not get any rain anywhere. And we really, really, really needed on the soybeans down there at Blackwell's Bend. We've got a small chance today. We got the uh, Hurricane Idalia making landfall in Florida. This one right here. Anyway, we're supposed to get some wind from it and we're like right on the very edge of like how far the rain bands they think are gonna go out. We're right on the edge of it today, so gonna be a hit or miss if we get some showers but we'll probably definitely get some clouds and uh, we'll definitely get some wind from it today
Well, we were stopped waiting on some trucks, but we just had two show up, so we're going to get those loaded. Uh, still have not had any rain today, nothing but clouds and wind, so it looks like we're going to be good to go for the rest of the day. Uh, so we're going to get these trucks loaded, but thank y'all for watching the video. We really appreciate when y'all do that. If you want to do me a favor, click the little thumbs. It means you like the video. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click Triple R Farms logo over here. Other than that, guys, we're going to keep cutting corn, and uh, we'll see y'all on the next video, guys. We're out.